every year. I see new gardeners, intermediate gardeners, that have failures in their gardens, all because they don't adhere to simple basic principles of gardening. Everyone wants to grow a large garden, but they find themselves overwhelmed <laughs> with the garden in itself. Did you know that research suggests that all it takes is 200 square feet of raised gardening beds to provide enough fresh produce for one single individual? <laughs> 200 square feet of raised gardening beds. By that estimate, research also suggests that between 800 and 1200 square feet of raised gardening beds can provide enough produce and fresh fruit for a family of four. You see, the math is there and all you have to do is punch in the digits get the calculation and voila you have your results this particular bed right here is made out of two by fours and it measurements is approximately four by six that's all the standard gardening beds you find in most farms and urban backyards are four by eights but you don't necessarily need a four by eight, depending on what you're growing. Again, this particular bed before you is a four by six, and I have various sizes throughout my entire edible landscape. What do you see growing here? Well, to be honest with you, this bed started out as my perennial flower bed, and I did that to make sure my bees have access to constant pollen. Food. Along with several other flower beds I have throughout this entire area, my bees are sure that they have enough food provided that I make sure that the plants, the flowers, and the shrubbery are all well maintained and the soil is fertile. Without the soil fertility, the foods won't be able to produce the pollen necessary, along with water. Water is very important. Now, I want you to look closer here. You see there's two large zucchini plants. Now this soil mixture is very important that I have here. And this is not your typical or standard soil medium. In fact, what you have here is something that's rich and fertile because this entire area against this wall here has been cultivated and taken care of for three and a half years. So all of this soil underneath is very fertile and I made sure of that. Compost, compost, food scraps, hay, straw, grass, wood chips, everything you can name is here. And don't forget worm castings, as well as coffee grounds, lots of coffee grounds. So what am I getting at? If you're someone on a tight budget and you don't have the space in your backyard, then you could do the same thing in containers. For instance, when we look at wine barrels, if I were to take two wine barrels and put them side by side and create six foot length of about eight wine barrels, I could do the same thing. I could duplicate exactly what I am conveying to you folks. But that's not what this entire conversation is about. The conversation is literally being able to reach in here and produce some of the most delicious edible fruits and vegetables and making sure they're packed with nutrients. Again, 200 square foot of produce, 
200 square foot of raised beds. It's all that's needed for one individual and for a family of four. That's 800 to 1200 square foot for a family of two. You're looking at 400 to 800. You see, it's not rocket science. The bottom line, if you cultivate the soil and take care of the soul of the plant, that's what I like to call it. The soul of the plant, you know, that good stuff they call black gold. Make no mistake about it. Man's ideology is always trying to change the names of what the Most High has given us. It's no such thing as black gold. It's simply soil, dirt. But not all soil or dirt is fertile. In other words, not all soil, or as I like to call, the soul of the plant has a spirit. Some spirits are dead. That would equate to dead, unfertile soil. If it's fertile, it's no longer soil. <laughs> I call it the soul of the plant and it delivers some beautiful, ripe vegetables, fruit, whatever you're growing. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's not rocket science. That's for sure. <laughs>